Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy and this is going to be a review of the Razer Huntsman Mini Analog. It's probably going to be a pretty quick review because in terms of the build, like the frame, the keycaps, everything is identical to other versions of the Huntsman Mini. The real difference is just these switches, which are the Razer Analog Optical Switches, which have also been around for a while, but um, this is the first time I'm trying them on the 60% board. It was sent out by Razer for review, but my opinions are, of course, my own. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've been using this keyboard for around a month now, and the way I see if a keyboard is at least decent or not is if I'm like begging to get it off my desk within a day of use, and that was not the case for this keyboard. Um, what I liked about it, because there is a big problem, or not a big problem, but it bothers me a lot personally. These are analog optical switches with adjustable actuation points, but the lowest actuation you can have is 1.5 millimeters, um, which is just like a very average actuation point. When these are adjustable, you figure it could be as low as like 0.1 millimeters, 0.4 like the Apex Pro. Um, so maybe I'm wrong and there is some hardware limitation I'm not aware of, correct me in the comments, um, but I feel like the actuation point could be lower and this kind of just misses the mark of adjustable actuation point keyboards. And don't get me wrong, I have been using and enjoying this keyboard for the better part of a month, but I still think that having 1.5 millimeters as the lowest actuation point on a keyboard with adjustable actuation just doesn't make sense. It, literally the standard Huntsman Mini Optical with linear switches has a 1.2 millimeter actuation point can be found for only $90. It just seems like a far better value than the Huntsman Mini Analog unless of course you want the analog switch capabilities. Um, also they have a custom release point which I think functions somewhat similar to Wooting's Rapid Trigger. I'll like put the graphics they use up on the screen. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this keyboard, it's just not going to be much faster, if faster at all, than what most people are used to. Of course, there is not going to be any issue with debouncing time, since it is an optical switch, and they are remarkably smooth. Um, they sort of remind me of the original red optical switches Razer used before they dampened the fuck out of them. Um, so just very smooth, very loud as well. When I put my keyboard down, it stopped recording, but basically I was saying that these switches are slightly heavier than an MX Red. It's around 55 grams of actuation force, I believe, so closer to MX Blacks and a bit on the heavier end, but I would not call these a heavy switch. Um, not really a typist, like, enthusiast switch either. This keyboard is loud, like I mentioned. Okay, hopefully that didn't stop the recording. I'll do, like, a quick sound test, you know. Um, the stabilizer is probably the best I've felt on a Razer keyboard. Let me remove let me remove the cable so there's no risk of my recording stopping. Um, yeah, the space bar, it's pretty fucking rattly. Uh, but all I care about in a keyboard is how these switches feel and actually perform. And this was fine, I just feel like they had the ability to do more with the adjustable actuation point and literally just chose not to. So this is a keyboard at $150 that I personally find hard to recommend. Unless of course, like I said before, you want a 60% keyboard with analog features and for whatever reason do not want to pre-order Wooting's keyboard, maybe just the big brand availability of this. When the Wooting 60% drops, that will massively outclass the Razer Huntsman Mini Analog. So maybe wait until then if you're looking for a 60% with analog switches. Like I said, this keyboard, not bad at all. Um, I can obviously use it on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, but it's not gonna be my main, not going to give it the seal of approval. And for the people who I think generally watch my keyboard reviews who just want something super fast performing, low actuation point, um, just either stick with whatever you have, go with an Apex Pro or just the standard Huntsman Mini with the red switches. Yeah, they're mushy and do feel worse than these in my opinion, but um, they're going to be slightly lower latency at the end of the day. Um, will that matter in game? That's another question, but it's fucking cheaper. Um, sort of hard to make the case for this unless you need analog input capabilities. And if you need those, you already know you need those. And I don't even know, you probably already have this keyboard. Uh, but that's going to be all for this video. I did not talk about any of the uh, stuff because I feel like people know what the Huntsman Mini's like. Of course, I stopped my recording again when I'd go to throw the keyboard in the air to show how light it is. Um, yeah, the keycaps are great. The keyboard is pretty light. Doesn't feel the uh, most premium. But yeah, it's a, it's a good gaming keyboard. That's all. Thanks to Razer for sending it out. Like and sub if you enjoyed the video. Peace.